Joy Home Remedies brings you Why your legs cramp at night, and how to stop it from happening again. If painful leg cramps wake you up in the middle of the night, you're not alone. Up to 60% of adults say they've experienced leg cramps at night. These ill-timed annoyances usually affect the calf and foot, although they can also strike your hamstring. And while most adults have experienced them, these cramps appear to be more common after age 50. While this condition is widespread, its causes and remedies are far from certain. You will find plenty of different opinions, but the simple truth is that nobody really knows why these leg cramps occur. There are theories, however. So, here's why your legs won't stop cramping up, and how to find relief. Number 1. Lack of muscle movement. Researchers say that our modern lifestyle could be to blame. While our ancient ancestors spent lots of time squatting, a position that stretches leg tendons and muscles, life today has mostly removed the need for this. There's also evidence that our mostly sedentary lifestyles where we spend big chunks of time sitting or not moving, decreases muscle and tendon length and limbiness, which may lead to cramping. Try to do some exercises regularly, ones that include your legs. This should help a lot. Number 2. Sleeping in awkward positions. Experts have found that when lying face down in bed, the foot is often in a plantar flexion position. This is when the toe points away from us, shortening the calf muscles. When the foot rests in this position for long periods, even small movements of the feet could trigger a cramp. Sleeping on your side, with your feet off the bed, or in some other position that keeps your toes neutral and not pointing away from you may be a better position for these muscles. Number 3. Dehydration. Researchers found that dehydration promotes nocturnal cramping. There is a clear seasonal pattern in the frequency of muscle cramps, with higher numbers in summer and lower numbers in winter. This suggests that heat and possibly also fluid balance, have an influence on the development of cramps. Dehydration may promote electrolyte imbalances in the blood, which could be one cause of leg cramps. Number 4. Standing for long periods. People who spend a lot of time standing, day after day, for example at a job, are more likely to experience leg cramps than sitters. When you're on your feet but not in motion, blood and water tend to pool in your lower body. This may lead to fluid imbalances, as well as muscle and tendon shortening, all of which could lead to cramping. Number 5. Aging. Aging can play a role in leg cramping, starting in our early 50s. It is around the same time that we start losing our motor neurons. Rest cramps start to get more common. Both strength and balance exercises may help maintain muscle and nervous system functioning in ways that prevent these issues. Number 6. Medication. High blood pressure meds like chlorpers and thalatone for example, have diuretic effects and asthma drugs, specifically, long-acting beta-adrenal receptors, or LABAs can be a risk for nocturnal cramping. It's possible these drugs have a stimulatory effect on motor neurons and receptors, which could promote cramping. Number 7. Bad Nutrition. There's evidence that calcium, magnesium, and potassium imbalances can play a part in cramping. Each of these electrolytes helps maintain fluid balance in the blood and muscles, and so it makes some sense that if they're out of whack, cramping may ensue. Number 8. Changing Seasons. Research shows that nighttime leg cramps are more common in summer than in winter. While not true for everyone, the frequency of these cramps tends to peak in mid-July and crater in mid-January. It's important to understand that these muscle cramps are caused by nerve issues and not muscle disorders. Electromyogram tests have shown that nerves running from the spine down to the calf trigger these cramps. So, why summer? Well, nerve growth and repair might be more active in summer because of the greater vitamin D levels. 
Your body produces vitamin D from sun exposure. And in the summer, when your D levels are peaking, your body may engage in much faster neural repair, which could trigger cramps. If you've ever experienced leg cramps at night, you know how painful they can be. Fortunately, they're usually not a sign of a serious problem. Stretching the calf and hamstring muscles before bed may help to prevent nocturnal leg cramps. To simplify things, just remember to do the following. Drink plenty of water. Stretch your legs. Ride a stationary bike for a few minutes before going to sleep. Change your sleeping position. By doing these things, you should notice that your nighttime muscle pains will become less frequent. Alright guys, that's it for this one. If you felt that this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, so that they too could benefit from this information. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button now. Remember to click on the little bell so that YouTube will notify you when we release a new video. Thanks for watching.